How's it going, Ed? Good. Going out on a recovery, recovery for a four-seater, probably. Wrecked out of the dunes? Yeah, probably dumped it and broke an axle. Maybe a rental. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Max really wants Good to go. Time. Max going, is he? I'm not sure. Are we bringing the dogs? Yeah. Load up. Come on, baby, load up. So we got a call for a razor that's wrecked out to the Hurricane Sandias. We're going to head out there and scoop it up and take it back to the shop. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, the weather's about 75, no wind, nice day, not smoky, and we'll get them out. We got the dogs with us today. It stinks so bad. <laughs> just stopped and we put eight pounds in the rear and ten in the front we could do more but we're too uh, we're in a hurry so what it looks like that happened as they were driving up this thing and they just couldn't quite see over this ridge right here, this dune. And uh, I think they launched off of it head first and uh, I think this is what took it out right here. So, we got the Lynette ring on here, you might have noticed. When we stopped by the parts store for safety chains, they were out of the, what do they call it, the class two. So we sent Hefe to another place to get them. He's got them in the shop. He's back at the shop with them. So we're gonna put those on pronto. Alrighty. I 
come bearing a gift. So we had to do a tiny bit of backtracking, but we got it found. And that was a tougher to get out of there than yeah, I would have bet. A bit. We were back in the sand dunes there, had a few hills to climb, and with the wind blowing it, it had drifted up pretty soft. It, yep. Terrible. But we got it. Yeah. Good afternoon. We got a call today for a Ford F-150 that broke down at Sand Hollow State Park. And we've got to go find them and get them out of there. My dad, Matt, is out of town. With the yellow banana, so we're in Rudy's Jeep today. But it's going to be a blast. So the winter 4x4 Jamboree is happening right now. And he is manning a booth with Alan from Yankum Ropes. So we got the call to do, go do this. We'll get her done, I'm sure. Do we have a weather report, Lizzie? It's really nice weather today. It's in the high 60s. Super nice. Hardly any wind, maybe a little breeze. And no sign of rain. Well, I think I see it. It's definitely not purplish blue. It's like just straight electric blue. It doesn't look like it's in too tough of a spot to get out, so. Hi there, how's it going? How are you? It's pretty good. Broken Broke drive shaft. Yep. Yeah. I had a bunch of guys try to put it together, but it was easier to tell you guys. I'll see it easier on the other side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right in half. transfer case and then just secure a rag into the end of it so we don't get dirt in it. Um. Don't get that in the dirt. Perfect. So essentially what, why that just pulls out like that is so that it can, when, it, when the truck articulates or the axle moves, the drive line also has to move with it, so that gives it some play to become longer or shorter, depending on what's needed. Follow me out. Okay. It's still, it's like a jarring clink. Really? And it does it about every 20, 30 yards. Uh, I called some of the shops. The only shop around here that's open on Saturday, Sunday closes at 4 p.m. today and is then open tomorrow. Flash your lights if, uh, again, if it makes it in high. I heard that one for sure. Whatever, just no. to support you guys. 
No, we're fine. We're good. So. Thank you. Yeah. Alrighty, so we got him brought back to where he was staying. Hope he can uh, find a shop to help him out with the drive line. We'll get him back home. The job went pretty smoothly, I feel like. The roof didn't blow off this time like it did last time I towed something. Thanks for watching.